Hi, I'm Lori. Welcome to the Milkweeds and Roses Garden, a Zone 5 Iowa garden. Well, here it is, the beginning of fall. What things made it through the summer despite all of the weather challenges? And what things probably need to be redone or at least refreshed? Let's take a look. So here I am right in the middle of my dry shade garden. It happens to be about two o'clock in the afternoon, so I've got a little bit of shade here right now. But I gotta tell you, this area does not get a whole lot of shade. Not after a big storm took down a, a branch in my backyard maple. I'll take a look at it, see in there? Okay, this whole thing used to be complete shade. Well, that's not the case anymore. So I have to be careful about some of the things that I plant. The other thing has to do with, right on cue, it's Gabe, the Chihuahua. The other thing has to do with dry shade. So anything that's planted here will quickly lose moisture as well as nutrients. So either that has to be supplemented or they have to be pretty darn tough. Now let me show you a couple things that actually are tough and some things that aren't. Here's some pomonium, also called Jacob's Ladder. The brand or the variety is heaven scent. And it doesn't like it here because it's not heaven for this plant. It's just too darn dry and it gets too much sun. So I'm going to have to dig that up and move it. Meanwhile, the tall girl garden phlox seems to be doing quite well. Doesn't it, Gabe? Yes, it does. So, but this is established. This has been here about three years now. So it's a pretty reliable flower um, bloomer. It likes this particular spot. I do bring a watering can around a couple of times, but not very often. Uh, something else that I also noticed, well, my sedum, this is a transplant. It broke off from another plant, so I put it here and it seems to be thriving. Can't say as much for the hostas. Now, most of these I've moved. Oh, do you hear the airplane coming? Mm. Most of these I've moved, but a couple still come up every year, so I'll let him go by. So I'll have to dig these up now that it's getting cooler and move these to a shadier spot because they just get too scorched. Meanwhile, the Joe Pie weed has gone to seed. He loves it here. Okay, still pretty dry, tons of sun, it gets hot. And by the way, the butterfly bush, oop, pardon my shade. My butterfly bush does not like it here. I don't think he's gonna make it. Another thing I had to protect, this one from rabbits, which are a big thing in my yard. A friend gave me some cone flowers. I don't know the variety. You checking it out there, buddy? Uh, but it was being chewed down to the stumps. There are no blooms on this plant, but at least it's coming back and it'll keep growing so long as I cover it. Yes, so that's the plan. At least get it strong enough to make it through the winter. I started working on things to conceal this huge electrical box. It can't impede the worker's ability to get in there and do some work if they need to, uh, but I would like it to not be the first thing that people see. <laughs> so I put up um, a, a little trellis and I've planted major wheeler honeysuckle vine. It has showy red flowers. Now it's brand new, so it's not blooming this year. I'm just trying to get it to take off. Also rabbits went after it in the spring, so took a while to get going. And here's another variety of cone flowers, cone flowers <laughs> in a cage. Uh, but that's the only way I can get the rabbits to leave it alone. Okay. The dahlias I've planted here are still alive. Um, they don't get just a whole lot, certainly not enough supplemental water, but they're hanging in there. So that's something. And I saw this mentioned on Gardener's World one year. It's um, called Mrs. Wilmot's Ghost. It's a type of Euryngium, has spiky flowers. You can see the remnants of it here. It went to seed, died. It was a pretty blue. I'll see if I can uh, include a picture here of what it looked like earlier in the year. So it is coming back, but also, wow, one made it and one did not. You know, I guess a 50-50 chance isn't a complete failure, but yeah, I would have liked better odds on that one. And here where there is a lot more shade and happier hostas, uh, this year I planted a picanthium mutimum, which is also known as a mountain mint. Uh, it's past 
it's flower, but it still looks pretty good. It looks interesting. There were a lot of pollinators on that this year. As a member of the mint family, um, which is generally a bad idea to plant in the ground, any sort of mint, because they really take off, but this one is supposed to be pretty polite. Another success is the butterfly weed right behind me. Um, she's passed her flower and could use a little bit of water, so I'm going to do that right now. And I'm also going to plant some more of that in 2024 because that's another one of those I could put in the win category. That's it for now. Thanks for joining me. I hope if you have questions, you ask them and hit the like button if you would. Uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for joining me.